Rasty McGibbon with Jillian Gervin, Minot State Women's One. Jillian, thanks for coming on Five Minute Major. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, you guys were half a second away from a loss in the first game, mm -hmm. um, but uh, tied her up, overtime, overtime. Mm -hmm. How how are you guys so successful in overtime? It's honestly all thanks to like the energy on the bench. We don't give up on each other, and we're really supportive no matter what position we're in. If you're playing, if you're not playing, like we're super supportive and we're already always cheering each other on. So yeah, that does it for us. You guys were um, about half a second from getting a loss in the first game. You tied her up there with I don't I don't know. I mean, it wasn't even a full second left. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you feel now that you're kind of hitting your stride and that you started a little bit slow? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, we're building off of that uh, that first win. We brought it into today, and obviously we had some penalty trouble. But, yeah, we, we just don't give up on each other, so we'll, we'll keep going here. Very physical game today with Minot McKendry. Uh, I think 11 minor penalties called. Is that something you anticipated, or are you not surprised, or do you... Do you tend to play a more physical level of hockey? Yeah, we're a pretty physical team. Um, and last time we played McKendry, it was the same kind of game. Um, so yeah, we were kind of expecting that, and we're we're coming coming into the game like ready to use our bodies and win battles like that. So I watched overtime. Only part of the game that I watched seemed very tentative off the opening faceoff, mm -hmm. um, and, and and really just a lot of back and forth play with not a lot of shots. Walk me through your overtime winner. Um, honestly, I, Miner, Coach Miner had said to us, like, keep the, look for the far side, like, weak side, and yeah. that's exactly what uh, RD did, Anna German. She got the puck on my stick, and I just shot it. <laughs> no, 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 were you going top corner blocker side, or that's just where it ended up? I was just trying to get it on that. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> um, you guys coming in, ranked number four. Mm -hmm. um, has the tournament so far lived up to your expectations? Yeah, I mean, we had we had some nerves in our first game, so it was definitely a slow start. But um, yeah, so far I think so. Like, we're working hard. Today was a tough game for us, so coming out with a win, we're happy. When, when you look at women's one, only only ten teams are invited. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that the level of play with those 10 is so homogenous that really anybody can win on any given day? Yes, we've talked about that. Like, Nationals is such a different different game. Like, it's anyone's game. Like, you have to show up to every game, so. When you, when you come in ranked 3 through 10, there is that option of the double loss elimination, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a semi-round robin at the beginning. Mm -hmm. When, you know, in yourselves included, you came in, a little bit of a slow start, some nerves. Do, do you like that aspect? Because it gives you the opportunity to get in. You can make a mistake, still get going. Yeah. Um, well, Miner really, really focuses on, like he told us today, going into overtime, he said, focus on where we are right now. So we try not to even think about that. We're just trying to win one game at a time. And, I mean, it's good to have that extra support if you need it but we just like to focus one game at a time and win <laughs> very briefly young lady from manitoba mm -hmm. when when did you were, were there ever any time after high school that you thought that hockey may be over or did you did you know about the acha had you heard about minot your, your boyfriend plays at minot how, how how did that transition come about um, well, there's a girl that I played with uh, for in Midget throughout high school, and I was pretty close with her, Haley Wickham. She came here, and that's when I first uh, heard about Minot. And after I saw her playing, like I came to a game, and that kind of is what solidified my decision. And I was excited to come down to the states because the travel is really cool. You see a lot of cool places, and I like the small and the tight knit community. So. Yeah, that's kind of how I heard about it, through her. Very good. Well, hey, congratulations on two overtime wins. <laughs> congratulations you. on getting the overtime winner. Thank you. Um, this is Jillian Gervin, Minot, Women's Division One, with a win over McKendry at the 2024 National Championship.